Hello and welcome to Season Now, the platform where we speak truth to power. Um, we're getting some news about um, Abike Dabiri, um, the the NITCOM chair, uh, the Nigerians in Diaspora uh, Commission. So we are hearing that the Senate has confirmed the nomination of Mrs. Abike Dabiri Erewa for her appointment as the chairman of this and CEO of the Nigerians in Diaspora Commission, NICOM, for a second term. Um, President Mohamed Buhari had written to the Senate requesting that Upper Chamber confirm her appointment. In a letter addressed to the Senate on the May the 2nd, the uh, President requested for the confirmation of uh, W. Rewa's array appointment Prior to her initial appointment in November 2018 as Nikon boss, Dabiri Erewa was a former senior special advisor to the president on foreign affairs and diaspora. She also served in the House of Reps, uh, Representatives as a member of the uh, as a member representing the Korodu Federal Constituency in Lagos from 2003 to 2015. Um, Dabiri Erewa served as the chairman of the House of Committee House Committee on Diaspora Affairs of, at the House of Representatives. Uh, Buhari also urged the Senate to confirm the appointment of six commissioners, uh, mobilization and occasion, all that. But that's not where we're going. The question I want to ask is, as, um, as citizens, how do you think uh, the, um, the current and the, the new person, uh, Dab uh, uh, BK, uh, Dabiri, um, how do you think she has done? Uh, in your view, has she done a good job? Sorry about that. Uh, let me just get that back. Has she done a good job? Um, I mean, this was covered by channels as well, so I should state that. So um, what, I'm, what I'm reading is a lot of it's coming from channels as well. But um, has she, how do you view her? Should she stay? And also, more importantly, do you think, do you think um, that Tinubu would keep her in place? Uh, uh, do you think that she will, you know, Mrs. Abike, uh, Mrs. Abike Dabirirewa, do you think that she will be, she will still be in place in the new uh, administration of Tinubu? And how do you think has she, she has fared? Um, I ask all these questions. Please keep in mind the reality of what is going to happen is that the new governors that we are having likely on the 29th of May is going to be Tinobu. Um, whether or not you agree or disagree or I agree or disagree, whether or not I don't, no matter how much I want it not to be the case, you know, for Tinobu not to be the president, the fact of the matter is he will be the president. That goes for all of us. Uh, the question is, what can we start doing right now to begin to ensure that we hold every one of them to account? That's why I'm doing programs like this. It, it, everything that we're doing here predicates on one thing. We need to participate in our governance. We must participate in our governance. Uh, particularly those of you at home, those of us who are abroad, we are participating but our voices, we do not have any votes. So that shows our commitment right there. Those of us who are abroad, we are not, we cannot vote in any elections unless we come home and vote physically. But what I'm saying to you is that it, the need for people on a local level to participate cannot be overemphasized. We have to participate in our governance, hold all elected, elected officials to account. You know, make sure that we are not going to be just silent in this governance. We must actively question all of them. We have a right to do so. Sovereignty belongs to the people of Nigeria from whom the government, through its constitution, derives all its powers and authority. The, uh, uh, um, the citizens have the right to participate in their governance. Participation in the government, the participation of the people in their government shall be in accordance with the provisions of this constitution. That's what it says in the constitution. So you need to participate. So tell me, what do you think? How do you think Erelu, um, Abike, sorry, Abike Adi, hey, sorry that. How do you think Abike Dabiri has affaired? How do you think, I'm trying to get the name correct, sorry about that. Uh, 
how do you think Abike Erewa uh, has done? How do you think she's done? So that's the question. Has she fared well in her position as a you know uh, diaspora commissioner? Have you know a CEO for diaspora uh, you know uh, affairs? How do you think she's done? Leave a comment. Let's hear from you. Uh, please, as ever, subscribe to Citizen Network, hit the notification button, and of course, give us a thumbs up. You're watching Citizen Network, the platform where we speak truth to power about Thank you and bye for now.